starting tonight with an update on the new Harbor Bridge project. Flathead and Regatos and TxDOT announced this morning that they have resolved one of the five safety concerns that put a stop to construction on the mainstay portion of the bridge earlier this year. Our Brandon Chef was given a tour of the new bridge today and has the latest for us in our top story at five. I'm standing below the north approach of the new Harbor Bridge project. You can see the exact point that the approach transitions into the mainstay. That was the portion that had those safety concerns that delayed the project while the rest of the construction resumed. We're real excited to announce that we are working with TxDOT and we're going to resume construction at the precast yard on Monday. It was back in mid-July when TxDOT identified the five key safety concerns. One involved the delta frames for the bridge's mainstay portion. Those were being built at the precast yard in Robstown, but will now be redesigned with steel connections for support. Dale Nelson, speaking on behalf of Flatiron Dragados, says they're working to put disagreements between the developer and TxDOT behind them. What we ultimately decided was the best course of action for, for ourselves, for TxDOT, for the state, was to figure out a way to close the gap and to get back to work. While Flatiron Dragados and TxDOT are still working to resolve the remaining four safety concerns, Nelson said making sure everyone is on the same page is a priority as some of the work resumes. Now that we've achieved that level, that point, um, we're able to really focus on getting, getting to a completion and getting a schedule where we can give you an actual date here. The bridge's south approach is 87% complete, and developers say crews are working day and night and hope to have it complete by 2023. But as for the rest of the bridge, TxDOT says this year's delays have moved the completion date back a year to 2025. Flyer and is trying to get this project done as fast as possible, so they're trying to bring in resources, you know, skilled labor to finish this project. And I think people just need to know we're, we're, we're going to finish this project and we're moving it as fast as we can. It is still unclear when crews will begin working over the water, but Flatiron and Dragado said they are moving everything back into position and hope to resume work soon. Brandon Schaff, 3 News. All right, thanks for the update.